Brinny instructor and his allies! Let's kill them and gain our freedom at last! You guys want freedom that badly? Well, what are you gonna do once you're free? Get revenge, of course, against the corrupt government for putting us in Hades. <laughs> if you commit a crime, you go to Hades. You want to get revenge for your own mistake? Your desire is born of nothing but ignorance. No! We did the right thing! But the corruptorment. Ooh, what was that? What happened? We didn't do anything wrong. We were only planting fears in the minds of humans. We made them fear the darkness, midnight, and gave them nightmares. That's all we did! Um, but those are bad things. No. Planting fear in humans is an exemplary action for all demons. By doing so, humans learn respect, begin to live conservatively, and keep their world in order. It's an essential part of keeping a healthy relationship between demons and humans. It's the secret to keeping the universe in order. Huh? I didn't know demons played such a role. That's cool. But putting hard-working demons in Hades? What is the Corruptorman's true endgame? Endgame? Never mind that. The true travesty is that these guys are being imprisoned under false charges. So? Are we gonna fight them even though they're innocent? Well, that's a different story. They are demons, after all. We always prove our points through violence.
not bad! Forgive me. This is God's will. This Here is I God's come. will. Pardon me, Mr. President. Has the rebellion in Hades been put down? No, actually. What now? Speak up. Yes, sir. We have received a letter from the rebel force. <sighs> As you can see, it's written with words that I couldn't possibly say out loud. I'd like to obtain your official sanction to... Eliminate them. They must all be wiped from existence. Uh, are you certain of this? Are you going to make me repeat myself? Understood. Your words shall be carried out to the rest of the Netherworld. <sighs> oh, sighing so deeply. You're more depressed than usual. Oh, it's you. Hey, you don't have to look so upset. We're supposed to support each other, right? What are you doing here today? Remember our conversation. I came to get that thing. As promised. It is ready to go. It's all yours. <laughs> Thanks. If you insist. In your service, my lord. Not bad! 
My lord, your orders. guys are 1.5 times more brutal than those earlier ones. Get ready now, guys. You're only one step away from receiving your pardons. Do as you wish. However, those are innocent prisoners who were put in Hades by the corruptment, right? How is it fair to use them by bribing them with pardons? Can you live with yourself? Th th they're not innocent. They were convicted by the corruptment. They're nothing but criminals! What did you say? We're innocent! We were just being demons! The Corruptment just came up with some bullshit excuse and imprisoned us! Then consider what you're doing. You're dealing with the Corruptment, who turned you into criminals in the first place. Don't you think it's foolish to trust them to keep their promise? <laughs> That's... What do you say? Shall we join forces? Join forces? Realizing the current state of our rotten corruptment, my lord here has stepped up to take over the regime. Take over the regime? He's planning to defeat my father and take over the corruptment? You are? I am? Why do you sound so surprised? Didn't you know all about this? Of course he wasn't aware of this. I decided this for him at my own discretion. My lord proclaimed that he would beat the president and the corruptorment into shape, so I came up with my own plan of action. 
What my lord must do, I must also do. What I must do, my lord must also do. In other words, we are as one. That being said, there's no problem with me making any of his decisions for him. Indeed, as expected of you, Fenric. It's quite considerate of you to come up with such an ambitious agenda for us. <laughs> All is for my lord. So, what kind of relationship do you two have again? It's starting to seem pretty creepy. So, what do you say, prisoners? When we usurp this regime, you shall all be granted ranks and positions suitable to your service. Huh. Are you usurping the regime? Who believe in such dreamy nonsense? Whoa, whoa, hey now, this is my dream, mine, where I become the president of the netherworld. Enough of this! My father would never be defeated by you peons! He's right. How could a lowly Prinny instructor possibly defeat the president? Do you think you'll ever get what you want by giving up so easily? You see, this is why you're all nothing but side characters. So what? Why don't you show us what you got then? Yeah, that's right. We'll decide whether we want to join you after that. As you wish. I'll show you what I've got. The power of sardines! Uh, aside from that, please just prove to them that you have enough power to usurp the regime.
There. This Here is God's will. Even though our powers are being restrained, we're still former overlords! How could a mere pretty instructor possess so much power?! Don't be so surprised. Who do you think the man who stands before you is? Being a pretty instructor was just a disguise. He is Lord Valvatores, formerly known as the Tyrant who enthralled all humanity within the depths of fear! Tyrant Velva Torres, the bloodthirsty king of fear! Y you mean the blood soaked Velva Torres of absolute evil? The, the king of carnage and atrocity? <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all those old aliases. Those are cute. Huh? I didn't know you were so famous around here. Hey, wait a second! Don't try to steal the spotlight in my dream! Tyrant Balvatoris? I thought he was just a printing instructor. I can't believe it! I never would have imagined my childhood hero had become a printing instructor! I heard he went missing after he lost all his power. I didn't know he was still around. Usurping the regime. He might actually be able to pull it off. What? There's still no proof that he's the real Valvatoris. I mean, sure, he showed us his power, but... <sighs> this is bad. Nobody told me he was such a big fish. He didn't put that on his resume when he was applying for the pretty instructor position. He's a fraud. What are you gonna do, Warden Axel? Should you go along with him, or should you keep sucking up to the corruptment? Hey, we can hear you. Warden Axel, are you going to betray me? Uh, <laughs> uh, please, young master, you're just hearing things. We made a vow to each other as comrades. Why would I ever betray you? To prove it, I've got one last ace up my sleeve in case of an emergency. Right this way, young master. Wait! I hope he's not thinking about releasing the seal of the Forbidden Chamber! The Forbidden Chamber? He better not! If he releases that monster, this place, no! The entire Netherworld will be destroyed! Well, they scattered like birds. I've heard about the occupant of the Forbidden Chamber, but how bad can it be? It must be pretty bad if all those brutal criminals are scared of it. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. <laughs> no monster or beast can stop me. Since I seem to have a new goal, total regime usurpation! <laughs> <laughs>